Hey everybody, 8 Josh here, and welcome back to another Planet Zoo Builds episode, and we're continuing on uh, with the Australia pack, so if you watched the Koala House build, uh, I mentioned that I was going to be doing one of these videos, the uh, Planet Zoo Builds videos, for each of the four habitat animals in the Australia pack, so we're continuing that today with, of course, the dingoes, which are super awesome i love them so much they're oh man the dingoes are so fun to watch because they're they're just dogs so if if you love dogs like i'm a dog lover they're just so fun to watch them like uh, just run around they bark they they play like a dog it's just they're so much fun but uh i wanted to do sort of a sunken habitat for them uh because the dingoes actually have a pretty uh low like I want to say like requirement for like decorating in their habitats pretty much all of the animals in the Australia pack do uh, they they don't really require a whole lot of stuff like they don't require much in the way of like trees or anything but I do give the dingoes um, you know some plants around in some of the trees because obviously I still want to theme it to I want to theme it using the Australia pack stuff so um, again just placing all of I really just filtered in my build uh in the uh building pieces and in the uh the nature pieces with the australia pack so to really keep it uh focused on that but uh yeah there I, you just saw placing a whole bunch of the like enrichment pieces uh some of the new enrichment pieces like the kind of the rope like tug of war one that is so fun because i feel like all dogs love to play tug of war i don't know what it is why why do dogs maybe somebody knows the answer to this but why do dogs like playing tug of war i, I don't really know but that's an enrichment item and it's so fun to watch them play that but uh dingoes do have a hard shelter requirement so i'm just building this like little i guess kind of cave uh thing but I use some of the uh, new log pieces to make them look like they're kind of holding the rocks up. And I, I don't know, I just thought that was it kind of uh, fit with it. And um, yeah, here just placing like, I, I'm kind of all over on this build, I realize. Uh, kind of going from one thing to the next. Um, but I have there, I have the habitat itself pretty much uh, figured out. I did uh, do a bunch of theming, as you're about to see, around the path here. So, like I said, I wanted the habitat to be sunken in, and then the guests actually will view them from up above. So, if you do download this from the workshop, place it in your zoo, you'll have to... Uh, it's so... it's kind of annoying, honestly. Like, I, I don't do a lot of blueprints that uh, incorporate paths, because it's it's... It can it can be tricky to try and place a path perfectly so it matches up with the blueprint but I use just the standard four meter path to try to make it as easy as possible uh, it's curved but all the pieces uh, like the custom railings and everything I made for it like really hug the path itself so it should hopefully be pretty easy to figure out the path and get it lined up with all of the pieces um, but I love these new like fence pieces they're kind of just the rusted metal like fence pieces there's so many of those in the uh, in the Australia pack and they just look so good but I wanted to obviously make use of those and you know obviously you have to make sure the guests are safe don't want them falling down in the dingo habitat so yeah here I'm just I realize that the when the path actually is isn't there like if, when you place it down um, that there wasn't gonna actually be a curb there so I was like you know what I should probably put uh, some like wooden beams around it so that uh, when you do place this in your zoo you can see exactly kind of like where the curb is supposed to be and then here I realized well the other side uh, I don't want just like those rocks to kind of show through. So I was like, all right, let me build like this little wall piece uh, for the railing on the other side. And then I just, I copied the actual wall rather than, you know, actually building in the blueprint of it. So it made it really easy to just kind of follow the curve of the path as well. And it turned out like it looks really nice, I think, with the, uh, with the habitat itself. 
Also using the uh, new lights, which I think are really good. I, they're really bright, which I like a lot. Uh, Cause I feel like some of the lights in Planet Zoo aren't as bright as I feel like maybe they should be, but these lights, the ones I use, they're really bright. And so they look really, really good at nighttime. And um, yeah, so here just kind of, kind of just trying to figure out the wall, making sure it's perfect and then uh, adjusting the rocks so that they're not peeking through the wall. So you just get like the nice smooth wooden wall. And uh, I mean that it's pretty a pretty simple habitat. There's there's not a whole lot to it. Um, I, I did make, as you see here, I did make a little custom kind of stand for the uh, for the education board. So I wanted it to look I didn't I'd, I like to do these like little custom things for the signs. I just think that it makes them look so much nicer, but I think that's uh, pretty much it for uh, this time lapse. I, I hope you guys like this. Like I said, it's a pretty simple habitat. I tried to keep it and honestly, that was intentional. I wanted to keep it fairly simple and uh, I think it should be pretty easy to place down. Uh, there shouldn't be any too difficulties. I guess the toughest thing is going to be when you do try to uh, place down a path and line it up because like I said that's just it's always going to be tricky it's just unfortunately it's the way it is because you can't save paths as part of a blueprint which is a bit unfortunate but yeah so there you go that is the uh dingo habitat I hope you guys enjoy it like I said we'll be doing uh another one of these videos for the southern uh cassowary and uh yeah so as always be sure to leave your comments suggestions and feedback down below i am a josh and thanks for watching see ya